Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Theater Holly Women Entrepreneurs Matter. We matter because we make it happen every single day. I am ready. We are ready. Y'all, I'm going to do a demonstration today on some sewing. Sewing is a lost art. Sewing is something that our young people used to, back in the day, when they had home economics in school and stuff like that, they were able to learn how to sew. So what I'm doing is I'm having a sewing class. So I'm going to put a, post, a flyer on here so y'all know what day and time. And uh, my specific target is 18 to 25 year old women, but anybody can come. And uh, I just want to show y'all how to learn how to sew. If you got a sewing machine, you can bring your sewing machine. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a demonstration over here at my Auntie Patty's house. She over there, she don't want to get in the video. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm making Lily some little dog outfits. And I'm taking and I'm using some of her old fabrics, like this is a sweater and some jeans and different things like that. So this is actually a little coat that I made her before. It's getting cold outside. But what this was, was a jacket. It was like the collar of a jacket. So what I do is I just kind of recycle some of her little clothes. And this is the sweater that I'm using. It's just a regular sweater with the sleeves. I'm actually making uh, my cousin Francine some things for her dog as well. She got a little boy dog. It's just a regular old sweater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut out the front of the sweater so that I can make her a little doggy sweater for when she go outside. So I'm just using this as a pattern and I'm basically just going to cut around it. I'm going to cut around the whole thing. I'm leaving the buttons in the front of the sweater so that they have a nice little cute design. So I'm just going to cut right across here. I'll take the other side too because this is the pattern. And just cut around it. Like if you have a little pet you want to make some different outfits for your pet or a pillow or whatever it is you want to do. You know, come to the sewing class and you can get some, learn some basics. If you already know a little bit, you can come and you can even volunteer. We always like volunteers, people that want to, you know, come in and help out. I got a few people that's already volunteering, like Tina and Wanda. And uh, hopefully we can get Lily Maxwell to come on out and help out and show some of our sewing skills. So I'm going around the whole front. So I have the sweater cut out. If you can see it move this way. And this is it. Now what I want to do, I'll cut this a little even here. Now what I have is I have the base, see the top. So what I did was I cut out the collar. This just came from the waistband, cut a collar out. And then I cut out a couple of strips. Now these strips are going to be used to close it which is the same thing here. These, but I'm gonna put Velcro on it. So this is gonna go like around her body to the front, and then you have another piece on the back that closes too. So that's what these two pieces are here. And then what I'm gonna do to make it a little fancy, I cut some strips out. So I'm gonna make a ruffle to go around the whole back of it. Just three rows, just mason rows, and I'm gonna put together a ruffle what the ruffles will do is they'll start at the top where the neck is and they'll just go all the way around on both sides and probably in the back too because she got a little fluffy tail. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make the ruffle. Basically putting both the ends together. Three 
strips that I'm making the ruffles out of. So I'm just putting them together. Sewing is not hard if you take your time. It's really basic. And if you know how to sew already, or if you have challenges threading your sewing machine, because that's very important. You can come and learn how to thread your machine, because once you can get a stitch, then you can sew. The biggest problem that a lot of people have is they can't thread their sewing machines and get a good stitch or troubleshoot it just in case you know, the stitches are not, uh, the tension is off on the top or the tension is off on the bottom. So what I'm doing is a zigzag stitch around to finish up the bottom of the ruffle. Then when I get done, I'm going to make the ruffle itself. I had to come over and make my aunt some clothes for the dog so I figured I would kill two birds with one stone. I make a sewing video so I can inspire you all to come to the sewing class. Good thinking, huh? <laughs> so I'm just zigzagging around the whole bottom. This is just three strips that I cut out of the sweater. Take your old clothes and refurbish and make other things. You can make pants, you can turn them into skirts. You can do all kinds of different things. You can cut up stuff, cut up fur like I did with the first jacket and made a, out of the collar, and made a little dog jacket. So I'm coming to the end. You gotta be real careful when you go over bumps though, because it will break the needle. I'm going to do a little back stitch just in case because the, the stitches will ravel out. I'm going to put it back on the straight stitch. What I'm going to do, start on the end. I'm going to just pinch it. Every, piece, every inch, I'm just going to pinch it. This is how you make a ruffle. Just pinching it. And as you keep on pinching it, it's starting to ruffle. They do have rufflers, but just use both your fingers and just pinch it in. If you miss any, it don't matter. You can always fix it when you get ready to attach it to the coat. So now I have the ruffle done. It's a nice little ruffle. Probably about two inches, two and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it around the whole jacket, whole coat. And then it'd be nice and have a nice, cute finish. This is the front of the sweater here. And then this is the collar. And the next thing I'm gonna do is make the little hooks to go around the neck and around her stomach. So it's just two strips. So I'm just gonna put a zigzag stitch around both sides. Then I got to get some Velcro to finish it off. I'm just sewing the ruffle on now. Going around the whole coat. This is the front of the sweater where it's buttoning at. So I'll take the ruffle straight across. When you're sewing on thick fabric, you have to sew slow because the needle will break. So once you really start sewing, you'll learn kind of how to run your foot so that you won't break the needle but they do break so you gotta be real careful you gotta watch your fingers too because that needle will hit your finger and go straight through your fingernail just use safety precautions okay uh so i got the ruffle on it's around the whole jacket i had to do a little adjusting so that it could fit her in the length what i have here i just did a little square so what I'm going to do is put it at the top here to make her a bow at the top. I'm just going to put a little pinch there and turn that into a bow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to top stitch around the whole thing so everything can lay flat. And I was going to make these wraps, but I don't have to because it's long enough. So what I'm going to do is sew here and sew here. And it should fit her just right. I don't have to put any velcro on this one okay so now i put everything together 
This is the back, the top of it. I just put a little bow on the top. That's the sweater. We got the ruffle. The ruffle around the whole thing. So we're going to have her try it on and see what we got. So here she is, little Miss Lily. That's her little sweater. She'll be nice and cool when she warm when she go outside to go walking. Hey Trishy, call her so she can get it from Walton. Come here, Lily. There you go. Hey. And that is a sweater for Lily made out of her mommy's fat sweater.